Hiya Chris, lovely to meet you the other day and do some work on your swing. Really enjoy your company for the day and I thought you made good progress uh, for what were some difficult changes during the session. Uh, just a quick recap and a look back to where we started. You can see here this is on the second tee during your nine hole assessment. Uh, stance overly wide, upper centre out in front of the lower centre. Handle of the club back. As a result, closing the club face down. Very difficult to hit a push draw from there. So we've got too wide a stance, upper centre, too far forward. Well, the other thing we discussed was the position of the hips. And then from there, what we've got is due to the setup, the first move off the golf ball is not good enough. You can see there that there's too much forward flexion being maintained. And from there, it's very, very difficult to get back to the golf ball. You can see you work really hard. The left shoulder works forward. Shoulders start to spin. Loads of rotation through the golf ball. And the only way to describe that finish as we discussed on the day was over rotated. When viewed from down the line, the thing we saw then was that the club was rolled behind us too soon. So much rolling of the club face brought about by the left shoulder working too level. Club face very long and open at the top. Talked about how the right arm looked too straight at set up, sitting too high, making the inward component of the hands too difficult. So too long, too open, and as we're coming into the golf ball, we're massively from the inside, we're massively open, and from there now, we've got to rotate the hell out of it to prevent that shot going too far right. And you actually hit a nice drive there, you can see your ball taking off down the middle of the fairway, but it's a really high maintenance way of doing things. Tremendous amount of rotation during the through swing. So we take you back and we take a little look at Charlie Wade down at the bottom and compare your both face on um, down the line. The first thing we see with Charlie, even though he's hitting an iron, he has the similar sort of stance width with driver. The stance width is much narrower. The lower centre has been pushed forward, so it's not the upper centre getting out in front of the lower centre, but the lower centre that's pushed forward. So you can see here, there's a little bit of side bend to the right at set up, maybe five degrees, but the upper centre is still in the middle of the stance. With yourself, We've got an upper centre which is too far forward and we're side bending to the right, maybe five degrees, sorry, to the left, five degrees. So big change there initially was to narrow the stance and move the hips forward and that's what we see here towards the end of your nine hole session, much better set up. From there it's much easier for you to get the left shoulder working down. And by this stage, this is actually the third tee, this is the, the very next tee from where the top left footage was taken. And we can see already that during the takeaway, there's a little bit less of a move off the golf ball than what we were seeing on the second tee. So big improvements at that point. much more than what we're seeing with Charlie. When you look at it from down the line, the first thing we notice is that this right arm is a little bit softer and there's some pressure of the right arm against the rib cage. Here the right arm is very straight, making the inward component of the hands quite difficult and we lose pressure point against the rib cage during the backswing. During the backswing we talked about your club rolling open and behind you rather than 
zero rotation in the club face and we talked about that during your on range session from P1 to P2 feel that there is zero rotation of the club face it's keeping the club square to the arc of the swing top of the back swing we get longer across the line we can see here that Charlie is much tighter at the top much more on line because he's maintained the pressure point between his right arm and his rib cage rather than losing that pressure towards the top of the backswing now as you're coming into the golf ball the club was too much behind you and there had to be a massive rotation on the way through what we see with Charlie is a club that's more in front of him and therefore less rotation and a little bit more linear movement controlling the finish rather than over rotating so the right heel working up and in as the body over rotates the right shoulder and the right hip chase forward way too much so really what the range session was about once we maintained the pressure under the right arm and talked about not rotating the club quite as much and we can see here on the top right we've drawn the right foot way back and the idea of this drill is to give you a feel of maximum turn on the way back minimum turn on the way through so we're trying to limit the amount that you can rotate during the through swing now although it's not as polished as Charlie's we can already see at this stage that we're starting to rotate much less and then we talked about how we've got to continue to extend as well and by extending that means tucking the hips underneath you can see the much more controlled backswing much less of a rotation through at that point you can see here the head already started to turn here the eyes much more level nice impact position it's solid flat left wrist flexing forward tucking the hips so much less flexing forward on this one much more flexing forward on this one as we over rotate so key thing is less rotation on the way through that will give you the feeling of more linear movement linear movement as we discussed in your session is not all hip slide it's actually extension from p5 onwards it's the it's the tucking of the hips under the torso you know what drill you use for that we've give you the drill where the stick is at the side of your head as you can see here and also the drill where you make zero backswing and try to propel the ball as far down the range as possible good luck with it keep me updated and I look forward to working with you again in a few weeks time well done